Okay, uh, this is a game, um, somebody had mentioned, uh, in, um, uh, in a, in a video response, I got to, uh, one of my IGN sucks videos, and they were started talking about how IGN kind of bashed this game, and it kind of got a really bad rap because everybody listened to the reviews, and, um, basically, uh, it went to the shitter, and then a lot of people didn't like the controls of the game. Because it used uh, six-axis tilt controls, like a motion-controlled thing. And honestly, I picked it up. I popped it in. Now, they have released a patch for this, so you can use analog controls if you don't like the motion control thing. And I gotta be honest, this is the only game where I really was amazed. Like, I, I had motion controls that I really liked. And I really don't understand what the fuck was the problem with the controls, because it didn't take me two seconds to pick them up. It took me like I I had it basically right away. It wasn't anything hard to pick up. I don't know. I didn't I don't find the controls to be hard to use. So I thought this game was actually really amazing. And uh so this is uh the second chapter of the game. Um to mount the dragon and uh normally you just press the uh triangle button. So basically, yeah, you just, you know, tilt the controller left and right, down to go down, up to go up. Um, kind of. Then there's, like, a lock-on system, and you can do that by pressing uh, the uh, right button on the uh, D-pad. And it's really cool. I think it's awesome. I like the controls on this. I think they really control well. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what is wrong with... I don't know. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with the controls. This is like the best part of the game is the controls. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to respond to the guy's video. He's a uh, younger guy. I'm going to respond to his video um, talking about this game. I mean, if it wasn't for him, I would have never picked this up, and I really like this game. Uh, I haven't really gotten too far into it. I got to chapter three only, but I, I got it really late and uh, had a few things to do. So I didn't get a chance to go playing through this a lot, but, you know. So right here I got to just, like, destroy all these ships that have the catapults on them. And uh, if they don't have the catapults on them, I don't know. I just want to blow everything up, so... That's that. And there's that. And yeah, these controls are awesome. I think these controls are make the game almost. I thought it was good when I was actually playing with my other controller, which doesn't have the six axis uh, motion control option. Um, and then I played with this controller, which I just got uh, fairly cheaply. I got eight bucks uh, new, and it's an official controller. I just use trade-ins. But... I'm glad I got it, because, yeah, these controls are amazing. So, yeah, honestly, I don't have the <laughs> the volume up loud enough. I should have it up louder, because they give you directions, and, you know, they tell you where to go, and I'm probably just not listening to it. I don't know. But, um, they have to go and get these ice dragon thingies. There's that. Yeah, but these controls are amazing. Um, yeah, so... I think this is an awesome idea for a game. I really think... The only thing good about this game flopping is the fact that I got it for five bucks. I mean, I definitely have purchased games for 60 bucks that were nowhere near as good as this game. Um... I uh, see, you know, it's got decent graphics. Uh, so one one person I think was complaining that if you stare at the textures, if you go right up close to the textures that are normally meant to be, uh, you know, they're made so that you know they're expecting you to be flying over things. I mean, the only thing that is is wrong with this game is it seems like the frame rate is a little low, so it could be a little annoying, but it's still an amazing game. Um. And it really looks nice. Of course, unless you uh, go up against the rocks and 
stare at them like you normally wouldn't do when you're playing a game and people are shooting at you and stuff or dragons are shooting at you or whatever but uh, now I gotta follow this arrow here it's these ice dragons um, so the best idea is to do this we bam fuck you yeah so and then there's that ice dragon over there and then you can do a 180 thing and then yeah so you have to jerk the controller a little bit to do a 180 but it's not a problem and also if you you know like I said if you didn't like the controls they also have the analog control scheme you however do need a uh, six axis controller for this game uh, it does require some motion controls with the analog thing so you can't really use it without a uh, Oh, you can actually, this actually, this game is, uh, fuck. This game is, um, oh shit. It is, uh, compatible with, uh, PSP's remote play, so you can play this game on your PSP. Um. The whole place is going up in flames! If I wasn't talking, I'd be doing better, but I'm talking, so. It's taking me longer, but. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's it. You know, you could just do that, and it's not hard. The game's fairly easy to uh, control for me. I really like this. This is uh, a great game. Normally, I'm you know when I do gameplays, I'm just fucking around, uh, you know, saying stupid shit. But I'm having trouble just saying stupid shit because I just like this game a lot. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend picking this up. Um, it's not very expensive. And, I don't know. But, hey. Okay, so, yeah, it's not exactly the most expensive game. And it's cool, it's just kind of like you're steering, um, uh, it's kind of like a, f almost like a flight simulator slash R RPG, I guess lock on to those dragons and you can kick their ass and yeah so I'm just right now I was supposed to be killing the ice dragons now I have to get to the part where I I kill this dude and you just basically you have to line up this is one part you can't play without a six axis controller and that's one thing I learned but um, yeah, so you basically lock on to him go in there boom okay now I'm gonna line up with him and and hit him like that. And that was it. That's what you have to do with them. And you have to make them retreat. And there it is. Um. So now. You know. They go through this cutscene. And I'll show you the next. Uh, next level. I haven't beat the next. Uh, or the next chapter actually. I haven't beat the next chapter yet. But. You know. I didn't really. I only tried it once. And I wasn't really paying attention. In fact. I should really. Change, raise the volume on the TV so I can hear what they're asking me to do. I think you're supposed to protect these barges, and I was so interested in, like, you know, just running around blowing everybody up that I just ignored it. <laughs> there hasn't been so, like this for centuries. Let me raise the volume more Something because I really can't hear it. Not only does the volume low, no I lowered the volume for um, the recording in the game, and then uh, I also have these headphones on that I'm recording it with my voice with and um, you know so yeah can't really hear it well so I had to raise the volume so that was kind of it for that now that was cool silver metal yada yada um, so now it's gonna bring me to the mission uh, screen or whatever and basically I just select the next mission which is Blood River and uh, they're gonna ask me to do a few things there's gonna be this weird uh, uh, what the hell you call it like a rave Ugh, I can't think of the friggin um, stingray thing stingray looking thing with uh, metal on the bottom of it or something it looks like a fucking robot or some crap so, 
Yeah. So I have to go to the signal tower, blow up this weird looking half robot, half dragon, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, it's a mantis. Mantis. Uh, but it, it seems to have... Yeah, I already know that. But, yeah, I mean... This game, I'm so glad I picked this up because this is such a great game. Um... Well, let me actually give myself some speed here. The are unloading. They're unloading, oh no. Uh, so yeah, now we go to another cutscene. See, it's got this weird, it looks like it's got an electronic a fan under it. That thing's not actually that hard to kill. You just like shoot it a couple times, or a few times, just blast away at it, it blows up, whatever. Yeah, so that's that. And then gonna lock on to it I think. It. So just do that. Boom, it's done. So now just wait, what am I doing? Okay, so now I have to kill some troops, so it's gonna give me an arrow to where I gotta go. The direction. So, I, th I, I might be going the wrong direction. I think I am. Yeah, I think they're on the, the ground. Let's see if I can find them here. There they are. So then I just blast them. Go, I can also go above them and just do this. Which is really cool. And I can also land, which goes like that. And then I can use the analog sticks to control it now. So now I gotta find them. And uh, you can just go through them. You can mow mow them down just like that. It's really cool. <laughs> just mow everybody down. I love that. Swipe everybody. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Yeah, so... Now I, I guess I have to get to this barge thing where I have to, uh... I have to, uh... Let's see. Separate the green barges to steal them. Okay, so I gotta uh, save these barges. I don't even know how to get to them. I'll probably fail miserably. I just gotta find them. Uh, so then... Now, I don't know who I'm trying to shoot, though. My, these are the barges, so I'm just, I guess I gotta, these are the ice dragons, so, so I gotta kill all these ice dragons, I guess, and, um, so I gotta, so now I gotta steer around and, uh, try to find the ice dragons. Uh, there's one. Uh, there's one behind me. So I think I, I think if I do this, I can. Nah. See, I, I don't. I'm not sure how to do this part because I got an ice dragon. I think behind me. And um. Yeah. So there's that. Now. It shows you where everything is, but it's like it can be a little hard to see sometimes. Um, it's telling me that apparently there's an ice dragon behind me, but I'm there. He is. There he is. We gotta kill all these ice dragons. Yeah. 
the Mokai, right. So now, I'm going to go over here. But it seems like I have to turn around because apparently the ice dragon is actually over here. I don't know. Let's see, where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. One of the barges is lost. Oh no, I, I'm gonna fail. I know it. <laughs> I probably need a walk through. For hey! I lost my ice dragon here. Thank you for doing that. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? I'm just blast these pieces of crap here. Oh, wait, what was that? What am I? What was it? Okay. Yeah, I might have to look up a, a walkthrough on this because, and I know they exist, <laughs> because I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. And, uh... Okay, so. Uh, I lost the barge again. I'm I'm failing. I'm gonna fail. I gotta figure out how to do this right. So, oh well. I'm um. Am I? Maybe I'm supposed to stand above the barges and protect them that way. But I don't know. Wait. Supposed to. I don't know. I'm not. I think that's what I should be doing, right? Just uh, blowing up stuff like that. Well, that was nice. Um. Yeah, but I mean, ah. Controls aren't bad, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where are the barges? Got a get these sons of bitches away from the barges I guess that's the idea um, yeah I'm gonna fail I know I knew it I was gonna fail I knew I was gonna fail I will definitely fail <laughs> I will fail uh, Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I not? Did I? No, I, I failed, right? <laughs> I failed the mission, right? Did I? Or did I not? I failed... Did I fail or did I not fail? I don't know. It threw me off last time. I thought I won and I, I thought I got past the mission and I failed. I guess I didn't fail. I don't know. No, I didn't fail. Cool. I was sure I was going to fail. So... Yeah. Okay. So then hit these things, I guess. Drop mode. Yeah, so
Yeah, die. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta make sure all these whatevers die, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna like burn all these people and stuff. It's gonna be cool. So now I'm gonna land and start killing people. Oh. Oh, I didn't land. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure, it's up to me, huh? It's up to me to hurry. Die, 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 everybody die. I am fighting the enemy. So wait, is that us? First take out the remaining oh, so we're the blue guys. Oh wait, I mean we're the red guys, so apparently we're losing. <laughs> Not quite sure what I'm doing here, but I'm just doing it. <laughs> die, 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 die. <laughs> Kill everyone. Look all these people, they're all assholes. I guess we're getting it back here. All these people can eat shit. This guy, this guy, all these guys. They all eat shit. Die, everyone die. Okay, so what was that? Okay. Where are the blue guys? Die, 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 die. Trying to, I forgot I was using the, uh, yeah, I guess I have to stop those other things. Uh, where are they? There they are. Oh, this one's, uh. Okay. Alrighty. I have to 
No, don't don't blow it up, please. I don't want to fail. Oh, my controller. Uh, I accidentally, I guess, I pulled out my controller. It's not charged yet, so yeah. That's one downside to using the motion controls. It's uh. Boom. Okay, so the grain you saved should get us through the winter, and the Mokai will think twice about attacking our walls again. Okay, so there's that. So is that the end of the mission or is there more? Not sure. Duh. I haven't either. I can't tell who won. God was with us. We <laughs> won. God was not here today. Watch your tongue, Jevin. <laughs> Get back to the stables and stay battle ready. We'll need to figure out where the Mokai are attacking from. So, was that the end of the mission, I think? Yeah. It was. It was the end of the mission. So yeah, there's a couple missions from uh, this game. It's actually a really good game, and I really like the controls in this game. I don't give a shit what anyone says. This is a really awesome game, and I really want to thank the person who did mention it and responded to my IGN sucks video, because they really do. And uh, yeah, thanks. And stuff. <laughs>